Hey, well, what's up, guys? Welcome back to The Collision. Daniel here. Well, Arnold Schwarzenegger, he might not be back, but Predator, one of the most iconic creatures in cinematic history, is landing back on Earth, coming back into the screen uh, in the new entry, Prey. I've seen it, so let's talk about it. So let's just sort of establish this right from the start. I am exactly the target audience for these types of movies. Uh, I, I, I'm a sucker for sort of these alien kind of movies, these sort of horror, thriller, uh, sci-fi adventures. I know that this isn't necessarily the type of movie that I think a lot of sort of general Christian audiences are, are interested in. And again, this is an R-rated movie. There is violence. It is an intense uh, movie. But Hey, this is one that I is, was getting good buzz. It looked interesting to me. I love this kind of movie. So I was going to see it anyways and thought, hey, let's just talk about it. Anyone else out there uh, that want to talk about this? So pray. This is a, kind of a the latest entry in the Predator uh, series, which uh, began again with Arnold Schwarzenegger back in 1987, the year I was born. Uh, first movie. And there's been, I think, three or four kind of other movies since then, spinoffs. And really, none of them have been good uh, since the original. So Prey, this is a kind of a, a direct-to-Hulu uh, movie that's actually a, a prequel to the original. This is set uh, 300 years kind of before, kind of in like the end of the, the 1700s, right before the 18, uh, 1800s. And this movie is good. Uh, I, I really enjoy this movie. I know this is, it is sort of has some uh, mature content in it. There's some, uh, s some violence in it. Uh, but this is exactly the kind of movie I was hoping this, uh, this would be. I kind of, I think, probably since sort of that first one, uh, captured sort of the, the spirit, some of the of sort of the original uh, sci-fi uh, classic. The movie is, is directed by uh, Dan Tranchenberg, who, this is, as far as I can see, this is only his second uh, kind of uh, feature film. He directed uh, 10 Cloverfield Lane, which, fittingly enough, was sort of another entry in an existing sci-fi thriller horror property. Uh, so he kind of knows, uh, he knows what to do with, uh, with these movies. And in a lot of ways, he makes the right choices. This is a movie that doesn't necessarily follow, uh, doesn't fall into the trap of just sort of, you know, milking some nostalgia, the sort of old cult classic uh, sci-fi movie. You really, you don't need to have seen any of the Predator movies to be able to enjoy this movie. Again, because it's also, because it's a prequel, uh, you know, that's happening before any of the events of things that, that happen in the series. So you can come into this movie completely fresh if you haven't, uh, haven't seen it. Kind of one of the, the things that sets this movie apart, I think makes it unique, is that it is it's set in the past, I think, like 1719 uh, or something, and it's set in the uh, Comanche Nation. So this is sort of, you know, they've, they've talked, this is the first kind of um, franchise movie to feature like an all-Native American cast. Uh, it's sort of set in this sort of, the, this, this tribe of the Comanche people. And it just gives it a, a very unique, uh, kind of fresh uh, vibe, like kind of a, a fresh aesthetic. Uh, it sort of breaks away from this, the expected template of like the, you know, like the kind of modern military might and machine guns going against the even more advanced technology. We've seen that kind of alien kind of adventure movie. Just we've seen that all the time in in, in theaters. So th this one does make it unique, uh, kind of fighting it with more, uh, I guess, kind of historical or like tribal weapons and you know axes and spears and uh, hunting. So it definitely it definitely sets it apart. Uh, the only thing that I can kind of think of that sort of reminded me of this is like the Cowboys vs. Alien or an Aliens movie that they tried to make, uh, which sort of started with this vibe, and then became this sort of this silly spectacle uh, spectacle thing. This this definitely uh, doesn't do uh, d doesn't do that. And kind of speaking of speaking of the cast. Uh, Amber Mid Thunder, uh, she's I think a relatively unknown actress, at least to me. I, I wasn't familiar uh, with her. She stars as as, as Naru. She's the, the the main character in this. Is uh, kind of a young a young lady in this tribe who's sort of constantly overlooked and uh, just wants to prove herself. Uh, wants to become a hunter. Uh, wants to kind of be recognized as, as a capable uh, warrior. And she's great in this. She she, she has sort of this charisma, the sort of quiet charisma uh, that does that does draw you in. And I, I think like all kind of, you know, action heroes, it, they do test the believability of like how capable uh, of a warrior she is. But what I liked about the, what they did with this film is that you do, you see her, you see her grow into that. She is, although she is definitely capable uh, with her weapons and, you know, she, she's a skilled hunter and warrior uh, when the film starts, that you see her, she messes up, she, she, she struggles to, to overcome uh, some situations. And, and kind of one of the clever things they do in the movie is you kind of see those mistakes, uh, those, those lessons that she learns kind of in real time, her process, her learn from them. And then, you know, by the end of the film, she's kind of pulling from those lessons that she's learned in, in order to uh, to take on this 
uh, this threat and, what, and kind of like like a lot of these sort of classic like Jaws or Alien or some like these sci-fi uh, things. It, the film does give time for like the human characters to uh, you know just to breathe to get to know them. Uh, it's sort of it, it's sort of the slow build of like kind of unveiling the predator, which again that's, that is the main draw. You go to see this uh, to to see the predator to see the the, the face up, but it's really not till about thirty five minutes into this film that you sort of start the. Uh, the, the, the character shows up before that, so the, 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 the alien character, um, but it's not until like 35 or even longer before they actually start kind of facing off. And so you kind of, you get this build. It isn't just sort of, here, here's spectacle, here's fight, here's action. Uh, you get to know the characters, you kind of get to know where they're at, what the stakes are, and kind of sort of, you can sort of, you know, see down the track, sort of this, this you know, inevitable collision between, uh, between the two. And, and when that collision does come, when there, there is the action, uh, it, it, it's intense. Again, it is, we'll get into the, the violence of it. This is an R-rated film. Uh, there, there's blood, there's gore, there's violence in that. Uh, which might be, which might turn off some uh, viewers who who don't want that. Uh, but when, when you know there is action, it's not, it sort of starts more slow, a slow build, but it definitely kind of the end pays off with kind of a lot of edge of your seat uh, tension visually. Maybe somewhat of a somewhat of a mixed bag, uh, although I think mostly mostly positive. Uh, the cinematography of this thing is, is gorgeous. Uh, so you sort of get these like the prairie, these these kind of big expansive landscapes and stuff, uh, which just draws you in. Even if the colors are. Uh, they, they just do a lot of cool kind of contrast with the color, and if you've seen like the movie poster, like the green uh, alien blood on the face and how that pops, uh, so so it does. Uh, visually, it is it is a nice look movie to, to kind of look at. Uh, kind of the the other side of that is it also does have a bit of that kind of B movie uh, feel. This is a straight to Hulu uh, movie, so I don't know what that meant for uh, for the budget, but some of the CGI is, is hit or miss. Some of the the animals and stuff in this, uh, like there's a, a scene with a, a bear chase, and the bear kind of looks like a cartoon. But this sort of is sort of has that B movie vibe, so you kind of overlook uh, some of that. And it, this is maybe just my own kind of grumpy pet peeve, but uh, everything just looks kind of clean. Uh, you know, these characters they're not like dirty and gritty, even if they're like coming out of mud, they sort of rinse off. Like, everything it just sort of makes the characters look a little more like these are people in costumes uh, rather than like this is you know an authentic and they're out in the wild and they're dirty and covered in mud and so maybe this is my own little uh, nitpick there uh, but overall visually I, I, I was pleased with this. As far as this kind of content to consider uh, for uh, profanity the only thing I heard is there's one use of uh, the S word uh, but there's no other profanity at least that I caught watching this. Uh, sexuality there's no sexuality Violence again. This is as you would expect. This is a violent uh, film. You see kind of violence all throughout. I think tolerance for the violence, kind of depending on what your expectations are, what you uh, what you're comfortable with, uh, will vary a bit. There, there's some violence just towards animals. They're hunting uh, the human characters are on, like the predators hunting, and you see like animals that get like skinned and like gutted and stuff. And so there's some kind of hunting uh, uh, violence, which again didn't really bother me. But uh, there's also violence with the the human characters. Uh, a lot of, I would say, maybe less violence than at least I expected uh, going into this. A lot of the violence is kind of slightly off screen. Uh, you still see it. It's very, a lot of it's very implied. It's, it's horrible. You know what's happening. These characters are dying. Or, or also, like, see it from a distance and you see, like, the splattering of, like, blood kind of in the distance. Uh, but you don't necessarily see, like, an up close, like, you know, the carnage that, uh, that happened uh, with the characters. Or you sort of see, you know, you know a character, the Predator's gonna kind of head off of a character. You sort of see it blurry, and you kind of know what happened, but you don't like get a close up on like the severed head or, or anything. But there is violence. There is, you know, at least in several kind of scenes, kind of these these action scenes where characters do, you know, the limbs get cut off, they get impaled by things, or uh, one character kind of gets shot in the the eye with like a projectile, and again doesn't like zoom in uh, on it. But it is sort of intentionally, I think, shockingly uh, violent. Uh, at least to me, again, like I said, this is gonna vary depending on how you how you kind of treat violence in movies. I found it appropriately violent, uh, that it wasn't uh, reveling in the, like, not ex kind of a lot of horror movies where it just sort of wants to, like, let's experiment and how many clever ways we can get gore and sort of revel in the gore. And it, it never, at least to me, never, it was never that. It was more just, hey, this is, a, this is sort of a violent world, a violent situation. Characters uh, suffer sort of violent consequences, uh, and it sort of, it kind of, amps up the stakes and just sort of sets the, the, the appropriate kind of serious tone to it, uh, which is violent, but doesn't necessarily kind of revel and just glorify uh, violence. But again, be aware, this is an R-rated uh, kind of horror uh, action movie, so there is violence, so it just depends kind of how you approach that. 
it's kind of, as far as like themes, things kind of going on maybe beneath the surface, uh, how much beneath the surface is maybe questionable. It's, it's pretty uh, it's pretty clear kind of what some of the, the messages or the ideologies and stuff that uh, that are going on in this film are. I think for the most part, it is just sort of a uh, an entertainment kind of you know a thriller. Uh, I think that is the focus, but there is some very kind of somewhat sometimes on the nose. Uh, themes and stuff as well, and probably the main one uh, is this sort of the, the film kind of asks audiences the questions of like, who's the predator, who's the prey. The movie begins like with a voiceover, the main character uh, saying, "A long time ago, it is said a monster came here," and obviously the immediate sort of obvious meaning behind that is the predator alien that comes. Uh, but kind of as this film unfolds, it kind of you realize that it's also kind of. The, the predator, the alien, is a metaphor, or at least like a, a, a contrast, uh, to also just talk about colonization, uh, kind of re, uh, recontextualize this predator character. There, there is sort of these French uh, colonizers that, that kind of show up about halfway through uh, this film, and in a lot of ways become kind of the main villains of this thing. Uh, you kind of see kind of both the, um, the, compat the, the tribe and then the, the colonizers um, kind of contrasted against uh, the predator. Uh, in some ways, the the hunters, the the tribe, there is almost a kinship with the predator. They're both just sort of hunters. They both are out there to try and uh, prove themselves, sort of against the the deadliest game, and sort of test their skills. And uh, you know, they're kind of doing uh, the same thing. Where the the colonizers are portrayed very much uh, as sort of these villains that you know they're just sort of killing just for just to kill, and it's not, it's not really about. Uh, you know, there's nothing kind of noble about that, and uh, so so it does um, it does sort of raise some of those uh, some of those uh, questions, and even sort of kind of as the film's kind of coming to an end, uh, where the main character kind of comes back to the tribe and kind of throws one of the, the rifle or the the uh, pistols that she had got from uh, the colonizer, saying, "Hey, there's danger nearby. We need to move uh, to kind of easier protected ground." And kind of the implication is that sort of as you know, there's one alien predator that there's also sort of new, perhaps even deadlier predators. So again, it is on the nose. It's not a message that I uh, bother me. You can, obviously, it's something that can get pulled into sort of some culture war stuff, uh, but it just sort of does ask some of those, some of those uh, questions. And maybe sort of this, the other thing that that's kind of runs throughout this whole thing uh, is this sort of the question of like, what does it mean to be worthy? How much do we have to prove our worth? Uh, in some ways, again, this can be slightly on the nose uh, for like the, you know, the main, Naru, the main character is in some ways very much like a modern, like she's a female in a man's world and all the, all the men, you know, tribal hunters uh, look down at her. And there's even like, you know, uh, at one point she's trying to follow, follow the, the tribe on the hunt. And one of the characters kind of snarkily says, you know, who invited you? We won't be gone uh, lo long enough to need a cook. And, you know, kind of, it just seemed a little too kind of modern, like, uh, you know, sort of this like kind of feminist message, uh, perhaps. But I think kind of, more broadly speaking, is this sort of about kind of being an underdog, being someone, whether that's a, a female character in this world or just any kind of person kind of on the fringe, uh, kind of, you know, on the outside that wants to prove herself, even the, the, the predator himself. Uh, the alien is sort of there to kind of prove himself against these, uh, trying to find like the deadliest uh, targets to, to, to fight and, and, and combat. So I do think there, there's some interesting themes or questions as far as, hey, what does it mean to be worthy? Uh, obviously, I, as uh, Christians, uh, we, you know, we know that there is, uh, you know, although we're called to like strive for excellence and, and some of that, that, you know, our worth doesn't come just from sort of proving ourselves or society and, uh, you know, 1 Samuel 16 or, or Luke 12, there's, there's various verses that can kind of get in there. So you know, I do think there is, um, there is some sort of some themes and stuff for Christians to at least kind of think on a little bit. So in the end, I like this movie. I think I think it's a good I think it's a good sci-fi thriller film. I think that you know it being kind of an R-rated violent film is definitely going to narrow the audience. And I think a lot of Christians just aren't going to be comfortable uh, with these types of movies. And I totally understand that. Uh, I find value in these movies. I think there is uh, kind of in, in moderation and kind of discernment, there is some value in sort of these violent thriller kind of horror, uh, just sort of wrestling with fear and different different sort of emotions. So I enjoy it. I think it's a well-made movie. Uh, definitely sort of the best uh, kind of since the original uh, Predator movie. But hey, if you guys see this movie, again, it's only, I think, ex exclusive to Hulu. Uh, but if you check this out, love to have a conversation with you guys. Uh, let, let me know what you guys think of this, whether you're like a, a fan of the original kind of Arnold Schwarzenegger movie uh, and this, the series, or you're just, hey, you like, you just thought you'd check it out, uh, see the new one, love to have that conversation. If you haven't done so, I encourage you guys, subscribe to our channel, like this video, uh, join with what we're doing here at The Collision, a lot of movies and stuff coming up, live streams, uh, we'd just love to have you guys be a part of that. Uh, but thanks for watching, guys, stay safe, and continue to collide with your world for Christ.